A man is under arrest after police say he went on a wild and destructive rampage in a U-Haul truck. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live in Fishtown where two people were hurt in the chaos. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Jim. This was a wild string of events that unfolded here in Fishtown just after 6.30 last night. And police say it all started right here when a U-Haul driver pulled up to this outdoor dining area, reached an arm over the wooden partition there, and stole the purse of a woman just seated here having dinner. Then, in an attempt to get away, police say the driver smashed into that setup, hit a 62-year-old man who was dining out, and hit a 26-year-old man who was on a motorcycle. It was a chaotic scene here at the International Bar on the corner of Cecil B. Moore and Front Street. East Detectives and the Accident Investigation District are now investigating. We're told after that U-Haul tore out of here, leaving a trail of destruction behind, the driver then led police on a chase. A police helicopter actually spotted the U-Haul moving recklessly through the city streets, and police on the ground eventually caught up to the driver at 2nd and Birch Street. Still trying to get away, police say the driver hit several parked cars and a police cruiser. Now, with U-Haul stopped, investigators say police got out of their vehicle and tried to pull the driver out of the U-Haul. Instead, though, they say the driver resisted, hit the gas pedal, and nearly ran over police officers. Investigators say police then used their tasers and were able to make an arrest. What started as a theft of a purse uh, escalated into a hit and run auto accident, reckless endangerment, and aggravated assault. Now, inside of that U Haul, police did find the wallet and possible purse and cell phone of the 36 year old female. She was able to describe it to us, and it, it appears that her purse, her cell phone, and other belongings are inside the U Haul. But we're holding that as part of a crime scene, and our East detectives are going to investigate this. Back out here live on the scene, you can see all the damage still left behind. Now, the driver was taken to the hospital after being hit with the taser. That suspect's name has not yet been released. We're told that person is facing a number of charges, including aggravated assault and eluding police. As for the two people who were hit by the U Haul, we are told they are expected to be okay. In the meantime, police are still investigating. They are searching this area for surveillance video that can help. We're live in Fishtown, Jan Carabao, CBS3, Eyewitness News. Jim, back into you. What a crazy story. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate it.